So last year with my garden, I cut creative and I planted some heirloom tomatoes, some yellow ones, and I don't remember the name that looked like this, and then some cute ones that had, um, actually they were bigger last year, that kind of were multicolored. So this year I planted some more tomatoes, just regular beefsteak tomatoes, and it rained really bad and it flooded. So um, <clears throat> what I did is I lost all of my tomatoes and I saw some volunteers coming up, so I planted them. And so what I finally got as it matured was a tomato that looked like this, but with a funny little dimple on the end. And then I got these tomatoes that I picked out of the garden today. And tomatoes, right? Flip it over. Well, that doesn't look like the bottom of a tomato. And that doesn't look like the bottom of a tomato. And it feels hollow. So I cut one open. And here's my tomato. Well, it looks like a tomato top. That doesn't look like a tomato bottom. Cut it open, and it's hollow, just like a pepper. Now, they're not dried pepper seeds. They're kind of juicy tomato-looking seeds. So it's kind of like a cross between a tomato and a pepper. And this one still ends up uh, three-chambered, but still end up looking like a tomato. And this one had the funny little bottom to it, but it was still pretty fleshy on the inside like a tomato. <clears throat> but these, these don't look like tomatoes. On the outside they kind of do it until you feel them and then you realize they're soft. Now I looked it up on the internet and apparently you cannot cross a tomato and a green pepper. So um, I don't know if I broke nature or not, but I think it might have something to do with the fact that I have heirloom tomatoes which are genetically more pure than these hybrids we have today. and. Um, I let them go to seed. So maybe if somebody could give me some insight on that, that would be great. And I don't even know if these are safe to eat because I know they're part of the nightshade variety, but am I bringing out some kind of hidden toxic chemical with this? So it's a pretty bizarre looking thing. Thanks.